Welcome back, everyone. Good to have you here. Paul Tranny with the one and only Lauren Dickens, up, at least the only one we care about right now. I'm sure all of them right. are great. <laughs> there probably are some other Lauren Dickens out there. Definitely some Laurens. It's yeah. uh, kind of a popular name. Yeah, it is. Well, you are our favorite one. Aw, so. <laughs> that means a lot. <laughs> out of all the Lauren Dickens I know, you are my favorite one. That's pretty tight. I'll I'm take sure it. you. I'm sure you would be, by the way. So it's super fun hanging out with you yesterday and. And now we have day two uh, designing. Want to give you a warm welcome, Karsten and Roxanne. And Roxanne's Thomas. back. Yeah, Roxanne. She's in. She lives in Quebec City, which is the hello, most hello. French Canadian city you can you can have. Never it's been to Quebec. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. So yes, uh, Lauren is super cool. So I second that voodoo vow. Uh, Nico, so yeah, just give Lauren a warm welcome. We're gonna continue on with what we're working on. Yeah. Karsten said, "Y'all, are you from oh. Texas, Karsten?" Can we do? Can we do? So we did this this morning. Um, just so you know, earlier with Isabel, since she's uh, since she's a Brit, we mm. did it. We're gonna do a drinking game. Every time oh. you say "y'all" or "fixin," then. Then we have to take a drink. I'm gonna be so just have water okay. or coffee because I have coffee too. I have this caffeine. And if I drank every time I said y'all, I would be super buzzed. This yeah. coffee would be <laughs> gone real quick. <laughs> well, y'all, y'all, kicking it off right. <sighs> just a regular drinking game. Don't make it weird. <laughs> just regular, you know. Soda. We'll do that later. Yeah. The other kind. Because <laughs> we're adults. Yeah. <laughs> We're working right now. So this will be super fun. You flew in from whereabouts? Austin? Austin, Texas. Yes. Two days ago. We have you uh, for 90 minutes, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to get the most out of you we can. We got to get, we got to get like all we can Squeeze out of you. Squeeze it you're, all out. You're, yes. you're, you're, you, you do have to take off tomorrow. You have, I know. You have big time things happening. I know. You're big I'm so time. sad. I've, I'm having so much fun. So I really wish I was around. We want to have you back too. I'll, Let's I'll do just go it. And say that. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So down. I cool. actually want to kind of dive into what we see on your screen let's, here. If let's you don't go mind. for it. Yeah. Um, so yesterday, this is kind of where we left off. Um, I was designing a fake brand for a tree trimming and arborist company called Phantom Limb. I'm doing the action every time you. Oh yeah. This is what Phantom Limb is. <laughs> Look at it just disappear Phantom into the limb. artboard. I, I, it feels like I have a hand. That's pretty a, awesome. A left Wait, let me hand. like. You could do Look, a, you could do a branch. Look, disappearing into the artboard. Look what at that. What if it turned into a branch? That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. We could do that. We'll we save that just, for later. We could play with this all day long. Really. <laughs> That's really fun. Um, so this is where we left off yesterday, and because I'm only here for two days, I wanted to kind of take some time with it last night and build it out a little bit more, oh. so that we could get into texturing some stuff today, which uh, I think will be super fun. So I love it. I just started sketching some more stuff, maybe playing with color down here, and then um, adding. <clears throat> some other type elements around it, sort of like some supporting type. Um, so you can kind of see like someone yesterday had the brilliant idea that the phone number should be 1-800-CUT-TREE, which oh, is yeah. brilliant. Very, very good. Um, and then something else that I did kind of from here to this artboard is I started to go into the type and that's kind of make it just a little bit more unique and expressive um, by adding these little kind of tick marks <sighs> at the top. So we were talking about taglines yesterday. Jennifer Meadows, that is so good. What your trees are missing. That Well, that's what's on Wait, here. Oh, is that what's in there? Yeah, is that what we on. had? Is that Wait. what we came up with last, yesterday? No. You did it last night? I had something in my back pocket. Oh, you're good. I had it all along. Pro. Pulling Sorry, it out, I just... pulling it out of my pocket. Yeah, you are. Um, yeah. So, <sighs> so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really digging the way that this type is starting to feel. I think that these kind of accent points almost feel like, like bark, like the bark of a tree, which is mm -hmm. cool. Oh my god, can I post something on Instagram real quick? I forgot to post yes, my live yeah, stream. Yeah, feel free to do that right now. I mean, real, take real this quick. moment to uh, let you know that we are gonna have chat and win. So all you need to do is chat 
and you would have a chance to win in 25 minutes. And also we have the daily challenge. Check out the challenge tab. It's all about making a ticket for Adobe Max. And we'll review those designs in about 60 minutes. Technically nice. 55. And that's when your deadline is. And Jose Gonzalez really likes your design. Oh, thanks, Jose. What is your Insta Instagram handle? My Insta handle is E L underscore D I C K. Oh, that's my dribble. Um, I'm about to go go to there. So there it is. You can <laughs> I follow can see why me you there. Didn't want to say it out loud. <laughs> I mean, it's part of my last name, so <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Um. E L underscore D I C K. Go give me a follow, <laughs> y'all. Back to the artboard. Okay. Um, so, talked about this type. Um, let's see. So, then I started another artboard and I was kind of starting to play with maybe adding an additional color um, because this, this pun is kind of topical. It's October, you mm -hmm. know, it's about to be Halloween. So, I thought some sort of spooky colors could be cool for this. So we added a little bit of orange. Um, and then someone the other day had mentioned it could be cool to like have one of the limbs seem like it's a phantom limb. So mm -hmm. using color as kind of a signifier of that. So maybe this guy is like, you know, hanging on by a thread and it's like, yeah. that that's the one that needs to go. That's the one that needs chopping. So yeah, that's this is kind of where we are. That looks really good. You did you did some work. Yeah. I'm really, yeah. really proud of you. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, man. So today I want to show you guys some some tricks that I use a lot to texture type. Oh, I um, love it. And I think that this will be a really you, great project. Do you for ever that. use um, edit colors? Do you ever do edit colors? Um, yeah like play with different colors. Do you know about it? Like so basically if you wanted to- Rolly thing or? No, like if you just select everything here, including the everything? green- Everything? Including the green background, yeah. Okay. If you don't mind, just cause like if you needed to explore colors, cause that's kind of what you were doing. Mm -hmm. And then go to edit, the top there, go to edit colors. Recolor artwork. That's what I'm thinking of. Recolor. Whoa. So check this out. Like move oh, that, that off. Is tight. This is fun though. So you can do a couple different things. Click on edit, mm -hmm. and then lock it down, and now it'll it'll stay that locked. Then you can just Let's like move it. that wheel oh, around. Oh my god! So fun. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, that's pretty tight. I actually really like that. That would yeah. be like for an '80s yeah. tree trimming company. Yeah, I like I like that. That's. That's and awesome. yeah, you could do endless, like if it's too dark or too bright, you can, ooh, that looks good too. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, that's nice too. That green is really cool. Yeah. Well, that is just super fun. And Thanks, Paul. if this Jeez. is a print job, if you click assign, just an FYI, it's great. You have three colors, but sometimes I'll have like three different shades of, or six different shades of blue. Mm -hmm. You could just do that drop down and say, hey, consolidate all these into three colors or okay. four colors yeah. or whatever, just so you know. So, Blowing my mind anyway. over here. Blowing my mind. Fun to play with. Um, it reminds know. me of like the color and hue tool in Photoshop, actually. You guys are getting like kind of yeah. a, like, where is it? For, uh, you said that, yeah, like shifting the hue yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but in, wow. In Illustrator, that's amazing. It's really, it's kind of hard to wrap your mind around, but it's so, it's, it's so impressively powerful. So awesome. I will be using that. Because that's all the hardest the thing. It's like picking colors, and then it, like that makes it so easy to apply we, different yeah. looks. And even like, I could see the like not locking the colors being really useful too. If you want to play with other kind of color combos, because mm -hmm. right now we're doing, I guess, where is where is orange? in relation to green on the color. It's like not quite oh. opposite. Blue is the opposite of orange. Um, yeah, and green is red. But they're really so complementary. Yeah, close. Yeah. So, yeah, we're all learning something new today. <laughs> That's amazing. And, uh, yeah, anyways, I'll talk your ear. <laughs> like, you could have global colors, so the orange could be a global color. Wow. 
So if you change it in your swatches panel, it'll uh -huh. change it everywhere. That's insane. And then you're like, why isn't it always this way? And you know what? Now it actually is. Anytime you make a swatch, the global colors box is checked. That's incredible. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna make this like nice and big because the actions that I'm using um, require that the the vector be kind of large to get that nice textured uh, detail. So I'm just gonna go up to, where are my actions at? Graphic styles. And this was one that um, actually someone in Austin made. I don't remember her name, which is terrible, but it, I use it all the time. So if, if you made this, please, give us a shout out right here. Um, it's called Copier Funk. And what is this? It's a graphic style. Oh, Copier. Yes. Oh, so it just kind of gives you these different textures? Yes, so <clears throat> let's just turn this black for now. And you'll see once we apply one of these. So there's like a bunch to choose from. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like pick a few to look at. So you can kind of zoom in and start to see what kind of effect you're gonna have. So basically it's replicating like if anyone, if, if anyone's ever used like a true Xerox machine mm -hmm. to achieve te textures before, um, it's basically trying to replicate Oh, that, so it that does it look. on the edges though. Yeah, well there's different uh, different ones that you can use. So this one, that one's pretty smooth. It just kind of like rounds out the corners a little bit. Um, and I'll show I'll show you all of them. So this one kind of uh, like wow. shears the edges off, which is really cool. Um, and it's all really about just like playing and and seeing this which is one. Cool. Yeah, you Be feel like will will work best for the project you're you're working on. Because basically, I feel like, like what's happening here is it's actually applying different effects. So once you drop it on, you should be able mm -hmm. to open up your appearance panel, mm -hmm. and it'll show you what effects they use to right, make exactly. this. Right, exactly. Yes, yes. I don't. That is really cool. Yeah, we can go window. Uh, Where, where's that? Yeah, right here. Oh, appearance. And then appearance. I could. Yeah, totally. So there you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mesotint stamp. So yeah, it basically huh, just does all really these actions cool. for you, essentially. And you just, what, uh, Roxanne's asking, what is it called again? It's called uh, Copier Funk. Um, I'm sure you could s Google search it. Uh, just Google search like Illustrator uh, graphic styles. This oh, one's yeah. looking pretty cool. Um, I'll turn on my phone there. Bing, time's up. <laughs> Looks like, hey, can you, you mind getting that cake? <laughs> Can we, looks like Toast cake, is done. Cake's done. Toast is done. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually really liking the way this one is is looking. Um, that's a good. That's a good point, actually. Michael Roos asks about like uh, vectorizing the like like you want to rasterize the effects. He's saying you want to remove the white. Exactly, and I I will I show you. I will show you how to do that. Oh, I good. will show you. I will show you the way. So I don't know how. Um, so I'm gonna copy and paste that down so I can still continue to, to look at these because I think it's really, I think you guys should see. Oh, this one's cool too. Wow. So I'll save both of those and we'll, we'll um, go ahead and outline this one first. So once you have the one that you think you want to use, you go to object, expand appearance. Oh, that's all you have to do for an effect. And then you go to image trace. So we're gonna image trace it, which okay. might take just just a second. Oh, that's not terrible. Um, Did it get rid of, okay, so let's undo that real fast. Undo it, that? Yeah, the image trace, because it looks like it didn't get anything. So just, uh, just do an undo. Now select, do your little drop down next to image trace, a little arrow. Mm -hmm. Try like, I don't see why like it should be like, I don't know if you, it should just be two colors, but you could try three colors. Because basically when you hit that image trace, I don't know what image tracing is doing. Well, so there's there's different um, Ooh. settings in image trace that I can show you. 
So there's some advanced settings that I like to play with. So if you watch kind of the edge of this, we can increase the number of paths and you can start to see more texture come through there. And then you can play with the corners. I've never played with this Yeah, panel. it's pretty fun. And then noise wow. actually increases um, the amount of, if, if there were kind of like distressed parts in the type itself, Ugh. it would increase those. So I, I usually like to bump up the number of paths uh, pretty high if, I, if I'm looking for a really uh, robust texture. And then you can also click ignore white. So that'll take away the, the background. And then once you're like happy with the way that's looking, you can just hit expand and it's a vector again. Yeah, so yeah, to answer uh, Jose's question, it does make it the text look more organic. Yes, so let's look and, at how this one and will appear. This one obviously has a little bit more texture. And so it keeps your last settings. Um, I, it actually, I take it. you can set it, um, but uh, every every lockup is different. Every kind of type treatment treatment is different, and they react differently to these um, effects. So I, I like to kind of customize depending on on what I'm working on. So. Let's, let's zoom in on this action. So here's the noise effect is pretty cool. So you can start to see like when I decrease this bar. Oh yeah. A lot of these little little mm -hmm. white flecks start to appear, which is really cool. I agree, everybody's liking this. Nice. Right in, Michael, Jose, I agree. So I'm really liking this one. I think we should use this guy. So I I'll love go ahead it. and expand it drag it up here and we'll try to get it to fit in that little space. Yeah, this this um this tool has been super uh, resourceful for me. Yeah. So you you thought up this like tagline? I did. Yeah. So you like you're pretty creative. <laughs> like not only like visually creative but I like You're to, like yeah. Good like that's good copywriting. I love, I actually love playing with copywriting in projects. Um, it's kind of like a, I guess an acquired skill that I've I've gotten throughout um, working in the field, but I really love to be silly and mm -hmm. obviously this. And play with words, the whole phantom limb. Yeah, is a yeah, great a play on words. And I try to, in my work, I always, even even in my work, I try to have some like visual wit as well, something that kind of hooks people. Mm -hmm. So I'm really liking the way that looks. Let's let's see what we can do with these leaves that I added. I think they're part of a group. Yeah. Oh, did we forget to texturize the extra limb? It's yeah, fine. yeah, it's we're gonna fine. we're gonna do that as well. So it's this action is kind of strange in that if you have a lot of things grouped together um, and you try to texture them all at once, then some elements kind of don't register as well. So I, I like to do things in separate pieces. Um, it just tends to work a little bit better. So I'm gonna change this to black too. So it, it does remember kind of the last ones that you have used. I don't remember which one I liked. Let's just look at some again. Oh yeah, we're gonna play around. Play around, those look pretty good. I love Let's this. See. Yeah, it's super Because the nice fun. thing is, is it, it doesn't really mess up the overall shape of the item. Yeah, it just kind of gives it the the effect that it's been, yeah, been like loved. Yeah, loved thing, yeah. <laughs> Because I think, like, you could use other, uh, like, distortion effects and things, mm -hmm. but it just, it might just, it it looks like it's faked. This yeah. seems more natural to me. Yeah. You yeah, know, like zigzags textures. or, like, if you're doing right, yeah. like, any waves, it's all too consistent to be real. Yeah, I used to use um, the roughen effect up here, um, distort and transform roughen. Um, 
and I still do sometimes, but I just found that this this um, graphic style it's gonna really give gives me, more, yeah, it gives more. me the look that I want. Yeah. You get to really dial it in between the uh, graphic style and once you vectorize it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cody Wilson says it brings life to things. We're not trying to bring things to life. We're trying to we're trying to cut them down. <laughs> well, well not, that's so good. sometimes <laughs> trees need a limb amputated in order to become more healthy. Oh, oh man, that's a metaphor for life. Right? Sometimes you got to get rid of some stuff to grow. To grow. Oh. We're getting deep. Oh man, so that is deep. so deep. So deep. So you I, thought we were just talking about graphic design today. No, you are so wrong. We're, so wrong. This works on so many levels. And with something like this, I'm not like too concerned with perfect registration. I think that letting things kind of have a rough quality is, is good. Um, so I'm not gonna be too crazy about like where things are, are lying. Let's I had some lane. good ideas when you put it on the van. I'm gonna put it on the van today. We're gonna we're gonna shoot to put it on the van. Um, help me keep track of time. Okay. And when we have like 20 minutes left, if I'm still texturing stuff, then we should go to the van. Okay. We'll just move to the van because that'll be fun. Yeah. It's really cool to see stuff like in context um, as a branding designer. But not only really that, big. I think there's some fun ideas we can do with the van. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. Like okay, like so fun. can I just tell you my idea? Yeah, go for it. I don't have time Tell to do it. Tell me your idea. But it's Phantom Limb. You have this van, has uh -huh. a sliding door. You have, when the door is closed, it's the full branch, but it's placed in such a way that when you open the door, you lose a branch. That's pretty good. That's all I got for you. If, if we had like a full day, then yeah. we could even animate the door, opening mm -hmm. and closing. But... but you do need to think about that. Like, have you ever seen that van? It's a, you've seen it online, a picture of, and it's a Starbucks van. But when you open the sliding door, it goes from Starbucks to sucks. Oh, oh. You do See, have to think clever. about that and when you go to the. That's clever. And it, maybe it was a ticked off designer, like this is dumb. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pull this over on him. I'm over, over this place. Vantum limb. Oh, Kerwin. So we have so Vantum, many good ideas. man, it Kerwin, could, It could look job. like, what if it's like a hearse that hauls away all the branches? see that <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to look at a uh, adobe stock and maybe maybe we can mock it up on a hearse <laughs> that too. would be awesome I can, we're getting I can we're getting look. dark over here y'all <laughs> tis the season tis the season it is it's it's kind of like your friday it is it is my of, friday right yeah totally my adobe live friday adobe live friday <laughs> our thursday is typically fridays but today, Wednesday. As a freelancer, I don't really have days anymore. Like Friday is <sighs> kind of this neb nebulous concept at, at this point. Yeah. So I'm always down though. Do you uh, do you find yourself like working on weekends? I guess if it calls for it or what are your? I really try not to do that, but sometimes if, yeah, if I'm super busy, I'll have to. But um, yeah, for the most part, I try to keep things during the week because work-life balance is really important. Yeah. It is. And when you have a good balance, you just, you find you, like if you, t it's, it's such a dichotomy of like, if you take actually more time off, it actually makes you much better when you are working. Yeah. Like oh yeah. You feel like oh, yeah. when you go, whether you're playing basketball or doing anything like that, taking time away from something and then coming back to it. Yeah. How many of us have just sat at night, staring at the screen, not doing any work, really? Yeah. No. You you have to take those breaks. Um, yeah. I think it's so important for creative health to do that. Um, but at the same time, sometimes you have a deadline and you have to you yeah. gotta push through. And those can also be really creative times oh, as well. Yeah. I see you looking at hearse. Yeah, I'm looking at hearse. Hearses. Hearses? Hearses? Hearse. Hearse. Yeah, what is the plural form of 
I like hersies like it's horses. 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 <laughs> oh, I don't think I, I didn't make that bigger. We have some exciting new things are coming with Adobe stock as well, which is really fun. Yeah. Just FYI. Those are gonna be released during Max, right? Yeah, like, I'm not saying anything, but you might see some new things next week. Dang. If they're not here, like, cause it's harder. Like, it's one thing to have a download of everything, but really, they're just gonna be flipping a switch and then you'll have new stuff. In fact, look at this. It says, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show this real fast. Nice. Just because this is out there in the wild. I do not have. Yeah, maybe this has been here a while and I've never noticed it, but just real fast, since we are looking for a Hersey's, <laughs> <laughs> you could do a search for hearse and then you could do, give me an image with copy space. And image with copy space. Yeah. So oh, now it has, wow. it gives me usually images with more space. That is so if amazing. I evergreen. That trees. side profile is actually pretty great. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe actually I'll use that. And then, uh, so you also have this like depth of field. Mm. Like, give me a cool depth of field image with coffee, copy space of evergreen trees. Wow. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. No, that's huge. So. That'll make, because searching for stock photos can be a pain in the mm -hmm. you know what. In the hearse. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Close. I think, that, I think that one forced needs it. a little work. Yeah, I forced it a little bit. Because <laughs> um, if you think about it, as we, we produce something like two trillion images a year as a society or something ridiculous. Two trillion. Yeah, we're in the wow. trillions, but again, that's, you know, most most of them are selfies on my phone. Right, basic. that you'll never show anyone? No, I gotta, exactly, I gotta, I got 120. <laughs> I post one and then I immediately delete it. <laughs> um, but uh, Man, we need to the whole idea is just gonna be able to serve up the exact right images since we're, we're having so many. Yeah. How do we serve up the right ones? So. Getting that right image is so important too. It can yeah. really make all the difference mm -hmm. when uh, mocking up stuff. Yeah, I, and I- And I, I mock up a lot of stuff as a, a branding designer. Feel free to do that just to uh, let everybody know we have chat and win in a moment. Also, we have the challenge happening in another 30 minutes. So feel free to, I think on, in terms of a mock-up, if you're making a ticket for Adobe Max, yeah, you can actually- maybe mock that up. In fact, I might even. Yeah, do that. That would go a long way. Yeah, right? It was just like if you're working with a band or something, I've done this in the past, like take that art and put it on an actual vinyl, like whatever it is that they're looking for. So they can help, it really helps them visualize, you know, what you're doing, what mm -hmm. you're making for them and, and, and how it'll be in the real world. Yeah, like super, like pretty aspirational too. Like yeah. this is. Oh, here's a here's a ticket to a sold out show. That's what my ticket would look like. Yeah, yeah. Here's your logo behind you as a band in front of fifty thousand people. Totally. For sure. <clears throat> Some of this stuff I don't think we need to texture all the way, but I think that it would be really cool to do this line work. So let's take a look at that. Oh yeah. Cause it looks pretty, right now it's feeling pretty like clean and rigid and modern to me. So I think giving it a little bit of rough edges will really yeah. help it come I, to life. I agree. Uh, Vince says it looks awesome, Lauren. Thanks Vince. So put you, sweet. Put you in our pocket, carry around like, just pop out, hey, that looks great. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my God, I need I like that. Positive, right? <laughs> I need one of those. I need you in my pocket. <laughs> that's looking pretty cool. A type. See how, that's pretty cool too. That's super distressed. Might not fit with the rest of it though, so. All right. What is uh, not distressed for the graphics behind us? We have all these fireworks, super fun. That means it's time for chat and win. We're gonna dive into it right now. All right. Now you're back. 
Welcome back everyone, and Roxanne and Rindon is doing it correctly because they're typing something in chat. Hopefully something that are like actual words, uh, so we know that you're not, you didn't fall asleep on your keyboard. We'll even take a what's up. Poo poo, I like that one. <laughs> Cause it is like in the background. It's yeah, kinda oh, like, yeah. It's kinda like pew 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 pew. pew, pew so all you have to do is enter something in, we will pick a name at random. Whoever sent Gus the most money because he's, he's just sitting on piles of cash over there from all of his chat and wins. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. <laughs> he is. He has a throne made out of just dollar bills stacked up. He'll draw that name in a so second. So mysterious. No one knows. No Nobody one knows. even knows if he's a real person. He's just a pile him of money. Or, him or Paco. Like, <laughs> nobody's ever seen either one of them. They could be the same person for all we know. All right. Congratulations to, sure enough, Austin, Joseph, Huerta, congratulations. Yay. You've won uh, our cable bill for the month. <laughs> Just kidding. You've actually won Moo a $30 gift card. So you get to print up anything you want, as you can see right above me. Beautiful, expertly crafted business materials or fun materials. But you got $30 in your pocket. Print something out awesome. Print out a ticket, whatever you want. Also, 15% off for everyone. So everybody gets this 15% off. Moo.com forward slash Adobe Live. Print up something. Be like, I like the idea of positive cards. Be like, yeah. Your hair looks nice today. Yeah, I think that's great. I think we need more of that in the world. Right? More compliments. More, more, more honest more compliments. More niceties. <laughs> niceties. Yeah. All right, Austin, we see you in chat. Looks like you are being nice. He's like, sweet. Congratulations, my friend. Just have to want to cool. do this in a way to show that we appreciate you. Super, super cool. I'm just <sighs> over here texturing my heart away. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if Vince is making a joke there because he's like, it's like, Almost like moo money, moo problem. He's like moo money, moo problems. Moo money, mo problems. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's kind of how I read Yeah, it. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. That's good. You're the... Have Puns you always, are all... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, I guess you've gotten more into like creative writing. Yeah. Do your friends think you're pretty funny? I mean, from my perspective, I would say yes, but they might all be lying to me. <laughs> I think and you're pretty funny. They actually all talk about me behind my back, and that would be, I think, the saddest thing. I'm like about to you, cry right now thinking about no, it. No, sir. No. <laughs> you're the type of person when me, we met yesterday. You're like the type of person that you can instantly like talk to. Oh, I think you have instant rapport. Oh my god! Don't with make me cry. Wow. No, I wasn't. Ooh. <laughs> you, get a little, you get a little foggy. The glasses get a little fogged up a little bit. Is it, is it hot Sorry. Here? But no, oh. it is. It is good. Don't worry, off cra off camera, we're very bitter toward each other. No, we hate each other. I oh, can't yeah. stand Off Paul. camera, we're like, ah. We Cannot both go him. out this separate doors. All for show. Yeah. All for show. <laughs> all for you, gang. Andrea. I'm actually fuming in this seat right now. <laughs> yeah, she can't. Just the, <laughs> just the bitterness. It's just palpable. Just kidding. Alicia, <laughs> as you know, we're professionals, and it's good to have you here. So welcome, if you are just joining us. Oleg's in the house. Maybe not. Might not be Oleg? the Oleg that won. No. I don't know if you. We'll have to I show did. You no, you I saw. saw. Okay. Yeah, I was watching. I was tuning in, and that was one of the ones that we reviewed, right? Yes. Oleg. Yeah, yeah the black and white one. That mm -hmm. was amazing. Good job. I'd Way be to go. Curious to hear how he made it. Yeah. Because uh, you could do a little bit of 3D and in Illustrator. Oh, good point. Jose says Aaron Draplin would really love this design. <laughs> Draplin's great. He's a funny guy. Have you have you gotten to meet him or? I have uh, a few times. Um, he's like a road warrior. He is. He's always on tour. He's like a design rock star. But um, one time when he came through Austin, I got the opportunity to roast him. Oh, really? With the help of some other folks, yes. It was a nice roast, though. Yeah. Well, he's see, easy to make fun of, but we yeah. all love him. And I feel like he's he's the type he'll 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 joke about himself. Yeah, so he, he can, can take, take it. it. Oh yeah, for 
for sure. Yeah. So I'm going in and rounding some of these corners again, just to give it that kind of old school feel. Yeah. <clears throat> Michael says we're actually sitting in two separate rooms. <laughs> That's we just cut it together. Yep. In uh, post. Movie magic. This is this is Hollywood, y'all. Oh, drink, y'all. Cheers, folks. I'm gonna stay on top of that. Yeah, I've, we're probably way behind. Yeah, I've definitely said Whew, it. That is not vodka, More is than it? That. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, Let's go for this, dude. I you know what? I, I, <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna texture it all, and here I am texturing it all. So hey, you're a designer. Whatever. I got it. I hear you. I'm, I'm in the texture. I'm in texture mo mode. Full on texture mode. Can't stop me. You have. Don't um, even try. Okay. You do have tw 22 minutes until we just review the submissions. Okay. But we also have time after that. Yeah. Just a little FYI time check. Okay. We'll have time for the van. I'll make time for the van. Because it is really, I think that's important to show folks. There, you know, there was. I actually did an event where I did make presenters take a shot really? on stage of where? what I called fire water, <gasps> but it was pure whiskey. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I can't believe I did that when I think back on it. Oh, how long ago was that? <laughs> Probably like two years ago. Honestly, I'm down, but. It was it was very it was so it was like a cowboy western type theme. Oh, well yeah. So that's if your if your demo didn't make it to the next round, you had to take a shot of the fire water. Gotcha. And it's like thank you, you know, here's take some fire water, take the edge off. Yeah. That that'll do it. Yeah, anyways. Ah. <sighs> Oh. Does anyone have any tagline ideas today? Because I'm not like completely sold on on this. I th I still think that if the right idea comes along, you know, anything for goes. The what your trees are missing. Just for the brand in general, you know. Open open to ideas. Yeah. Open to commentary. I was I was really enjoying. Well, first off, I think anytime you're like, there's one like. There's the idea of creating a logo, mm -hmm. and then creating you're no, you're doing this whole lockup. So like the different iterations of this yeah. will be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I like, and this one too is like feeling really modular to me. So I think when we when we go to the van, I'll probably have to do a little bit of rearranging, which uh, will be fun because you know the vans. I, I actually already have the photo pulled up. This is an Adobe stock photo, little preview of what's to come. Um, nice. Yeah, so I just found it on Adobe Stock and I downloaded it. Um, it's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. I think the ladder's a nice touch. And then I also searched for like just a street, like yard scene mm -hmm. um, with a tree outside and found this photo. So. And I'm, so, I'm actually just making this mock-up myself um, because it's kind of a weirdly specific thing to mock up. So it makes sense that it doesn't exist yet. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Yeah, we might make That's it That's nice, color. you already have that kind of knocked out. That's good. I just wanted to be sure that we got to it. Thank you. Know? you. Yeah. You, you've been working, I appreciate that. Did, and you had a nice time at dinner last night. Oh my God, such a nice time. It was it was quite the course meal. Just more puns. Where? Michael Rose, the branch manager. S oh, ma oh man, that's really good. I love it. <laughs> Silence of the limbs. <laughs> we won't leave you unsatisfied. I'm gonna Damn. I'm going to copy these. Oh, sorry. I don't think I'm supposed to curse <laughs> on here, but... It's too good. It's too good to it's be silent. too good. 
We won't leave you disappointed. I really like that. <laughs> if we have enough time at the end, I might just try to like typeset that one anyways. I did that. I was doing a design last night that I where I used that same pun. Leaf. Leafing. Leaf. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Texturing away. Oh, uh. <coughs> I wonder. My, here, here oh, this wow. is my. Uh, this is. I, I don't know. I, I, what am I'm expecting to be promoted? Like get, get some sort of kickback. This is there's. You haven't had Phil's. I haven't had an opportunity to bring you Phil's coffee. I don't think I have, no. But I'm still working on I, it. But I know how popular it is. Leaf your coffee up to us. Because they <laughs> put mint in it. They put what in it? Mint. Well, the most popular drink is uh, like this mint mojito. What? So they'll put in mint, coffee? Like mint leaves. Yeah. Oh, that sounds if weird. If you were here tomorrow, I would, get you, I would bring you. I mean, I've had like a peppermint mocha. Yeah, I I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit that, but no, the, it's happened. They have a mint mojito. You get it iced. It's, it's actually maybe I, I personally guess a little more on the sweeter side, but okay. I like their mint with some cardamom. Not not sweet at all. Super good. So that's like really fancy. That's like next level coffee. And to get everyone excited as you work on that. It's looking fantastic, by the way. Thanks. Um, let's try to make this background a little darker. Oh yeah, there we go, much better. Just to get you excited about what's coming to um, Illustrator, by the way, is this. Check this out. So this. So Phil's coffee, I just like I made this like just kind of in 3D. But the thing is, is this like steam? And yeah, I get it. I need to tone it down. Um, but this is actually done using this freeform gradient tool right here. So I'm able to just put oh, little. Oh wow! I put little dots. So uh, boom. Like kind of like selected? anchor points. Oh, it's just like the the width that you. Um, it is. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty complex. But anyways, let's draw out something. Let's go to, here's a gradient. Here's the freeform gradient. It gives you these little dots. So I, so I can move this around. Wow. And, you know, obviously do some pretty interesting Man. things. So anyways, you can search. That's crazy. This online, but it's much easier to use than the uh, mesh tool. What is what is it called? Freeform gradient. Freeform gradient. Okay. Let me double check. Yep, freeform gradient. This is weird. You could see search for diffusion gradient. You can find maybe a video out on it. Okay, diffusion gradient. Diffusion oh, gradient. That's that that's mind. its uh, original its working title. Back in the day. Diffusion. It sounds intense. It, it is intense. Oh, and this is why I did it. Because I could never get the... Uh... Hmm. Anyways. Oh. Hold on. Basically, when I saw, since you're kind of doing that, like, so this is their original logo, and I, you could easily tell that this is just a straight up and down, and we know that that's not how this would look. Yeah. It wouldn't no, be straight it, up No, it would down. need to be curved, right? Yeah, it would, be, it would need to be curved. So that's why I was like, okay, well, let's kind of block that out, and then, mm, you know, yeah. throw the diffusion gradient right in here, and Nuts. that's what's happening. Just gives it that nice, because you could also do lines. That's the other thing. Yeah, that's um, really, really crazy. Very cool. So that's awesome. Okay. 
Correct, I'm Evan. This is the last chance for the challenge submissions today. Oh, oh, oh. What? How much time do we minutes. have? Oh, 14 minutes. Okay. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good about this texture. And I think that I want to move into the van. I think it's time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to move to the van. Move on to the van. Let's, so let's first, get into the van. Get into the van now. Get into it. I think that should the van be a creepy white van? Should we leave it like creepy white van or should we color it? What does chat think? Who likes, we Who did likes creepy, creepy white. Anyone? You can, you want that to go away? Oh yeah. Any other suggestions for color? Uh -oh. That's emphatic. Alana. Oh, hey, Alana. <laughs> oh yeah. What's up, girl? Alana. What is that? It's hard to recognize you. That. Yeah. What is, What is your like? profile pic, <laughs> Alana? What is that? I'm. Um, I don't know. I might have to. Flames. Check it out Dang. Oh, that reminds me actually. So I've done these van mockups before. I did one for this barbecue company um, in Austin. <coughs> it's kind of like a rolling barbecue road show. So this is like the branding that I did for them. Um, Read just a lot of, she tells you what it gotta, is. <laughs> Look. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. It, true. She was not lying. Not lying. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Love you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but so yeah, this is the brand that I made for them. And Ooh. and what's this for again? I'm sorry. It's for a barbecue company, a rolling roadshow <sighs> barbecue company. They built this smoker uh -huh. by themselves. And Ooh, I like what's happening there. Yeah, there's like a subtle little animation happening mm -hmm. that was all in Photoshop. This is some more expressive type that I created for them, and eventually we'll get to it. There we go. Oh yeah. Slap that stuff on the side of a I van. Love, love those flames. Throw some color behind it. Mm-hmm. You got yourself a party. You do have a, a rolling <laughs> party coming in, coming coming to your neighborhood. Look out. They're saying creepy white van is is um, funnier. I would have to just see it both ways. And this is a pretty silly brand, let's be honest. You know? Yeah. I'm gonna draw I'm gonna create a new Wait, I wonder if you can do this. Well, it'll change everything in the artboard, huh? I'm just gonna create a new artboard. You got it. Add rust to the van, make it even more creepy. Add what? Add rust? rust. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Creepy old van. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm gonna use my magic wand here. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to make it really creepy, you'd say phantom limb, arborist, and free candy. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Don't talk to strangers, kids. <laughs> not don't they probably don't have candy yeah they probably and even if they do it's like is it it's probably not even like gonna be it's probably hard can it's, it's probably, probably like three musketeers the worst candy bar yeah in the like, world trying to make up come at me yeah fight me on that three musketeers it's your least favorite it just it's so boring like there's nothing i like texture like yeah. I'm all about, I'm a Snickers girl, you know? That's cool. Do you like peanut butter, like peanut butter and chocolate? Yes. Love peanut butter. Um, love chocolate. Ooh, that's, I like that too. So this is on the wrong layer. Uh, yeah, that's vibrating a little too much for me. So I think we might oh, have true. to make the van dark and then leave leave all the, the text um, light, like we have it on our artboard already. So I want to know how, like, at least in the US, 
candy bars are so huge. Yeah, well, they're just I think like they're weird. big other places. Okay, but I, f I feel like they're it's now it's the super sized versions. I see just more and more of them. Remember how back in the day, like king size? Yeah, the king size. Mm -hmm. King like, I feel like they're like everywhere. But like my I don't what I don't understand is um, how like they call the small ones fun size. Mm-hmm. I think that a true fun size would be like the largest size. Yeah, you know? that's what I call fun. <laughs> Bring some friends along. Let's yeah, let's, let's have do this it. candy bar. I agree. <laughs> Christopher loves three musketeers. Chris, we can't be friends anymore. Just kidding. We totally can. We can. Because we just, know you're I'll not think, gonna eat our candy bar if you like I'll three just musketeers. Think less of you. <laughs> the dark yeah. van. You know what? It's Maybe too, we go I like the then. elastic electric green. Could you do you have to change the color of the type from just get rid of the electric orange and change it to white or do some do some color correction with the logo on top or not? We don't have to cuz I I hear you. It's a pain in the butt. I think we might need to go with creepy white. Creepy white it is. Yeah. Let's do it. Creepy white all the way. Voodoo Val, you like Kit Kats as well? Kit Kats are really good. How do you eat a Kit Kat? Because I know Alana eats them the wrong way. Oh, how, how's that? Uh, by just biting into them. Oh, that's what I do. No, Sorry. you're supposed to take apart. The top? like. Take layer. them apart layer by layer. Okay, you just like your deconstructing. That's the best way to eat them. I'm getting hungry. That sounds awesome. Yeah, people that bite into them are psychopaths. You know what? You know what my favorite candy is. I love grocery store like uh, little Debbie style candy, like all that. Oh, stuff. um, yes. Nut the nutter nutter buddies. butter nutter nutter butter buddy buddies nutter butter is nutter that buddies nutter. nutty bars. What are they called? I'm talking about the wafer yeah, ones. The yeah. peanut butter ones. Oh, I will like kill a box in two days. <laughs> I will destroy those. They're so good. I love those so much. So Just good. Just cheap grocery store candy. Ah. Or, yeah. So I'm doing a little multiply action. That looks really pick good. Up, pick up all the the shadows on the, the van. Let's see if we can like warp this a little bit. First, we're gonna have to rasterize it. Joe Harrison uses a Kit Kat as a straw. You do, you do it, man. I'm How? Like it. Bite. He's just saying bite both heads off and uses it as a straw. It doesn't really work, Don't but I like the so. thought. <laughs> I like where your head's at in that have a candy that can serve a second purpose, like something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think you're on the right track with inventing a new candy. So I'm just using the warp tool now to kind of get the curves mm -hmm. of the van right. Subtle, but. Yeah, it's this is what makes you professional. Kind of taking time with these, with the details. Mm -hmm. I like it. Maybe at the door, if the at the door there was tree and then a limb on the door, so then it gets cut off when you open it. There's not a door on. The, oh, this one. Yeah. Oh yeah. But um, trust me, you're fine. You don't have to. I'm just the peanut gallery. <laughs> I'm the peanut butter and chocolate gallery over here. I'm definitely team peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah. Pretty much anything of us. Peanut butter and chocolate, like, yeah. Okay, I'm more than that. Um, Twix is pretty cool, too. Yeah, Twix is the, yeah. I love, Twix is probably my favorite. Really? And I do like the peanut butter Twix. <gasps> the peanut butter Twix are really, really good. Yeah. Less than five minutes for the challenge submission deadline for the day. So Last get those one. entries in. And I'm loving the feedback we're getting. Yeah. What are, yeah. What are people saying? Well, Michael oh, likes how candy bars still. Well, smart objects like you know you're you're obviously keeping keeping that as vector, which is really good. And then Beck Nelson says Tim Tams. Tim Tams, never heard of that. Tim Tams that are awesome about? for using as a straw in a hot drink. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. By the Tim way, Tams. You, you do have to say the marketing that Twix has been doing lately is pretty clever. As you said, Kerwin, 
if you like the right or left Twix. Oh yeah, that's, that's smart, super smart. Yeah. yeah, I love that. So obviously we aren't gonna have enough room for like some of this full lockup, so I'm gonna have to break things apart mm -hmm. and kind of rearrange them to fit on the van. So I'm just gonna stack this part. Let's see how it looks. Oh, sweet. I don't, we have Tim Tams. Well, I don't know Tim Tams. We don't have them in the USA. Yeah, I don't know what those are. What are they? Tell us, let us know. Jennifer. No, oh, chocolate. Uh, oh, it's an Australian biscuit chocolate. Uh, two malted biscuits with light chocolate cream inside. I like malted things. Yeah. They look delicious. And it looks like they have a mint flavor. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. So Very good, nice. Good stuff. So again, submit through the challenge tab, as you may or may not know. Submit through that form. I think we may not need the lines. Tempo uh, is a something that's really good in South Africa. Michael, I don't know if that's where you're based. Always curious. And even this whole this whole idea of you know tree trimming, I guess. You know, I assume there are tree trimming companies like around the world. Yeah. yeah. Trees are everywhere. <laughs> Except for in uh, Except for in the forest where Treebeard lives in Lord of the Rings. Treebeard? I don't, I'm not familiar. Yeah. I'm I, not a Lord of the, I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan. You're good. <laughs> I, I fake being, I just don't know anything about it. I fake being a, a Harry Potter fan all the time, but everybody knows I'm full of it. <laughs> I just like saying that I'm a Hufflepuff. Because <laughs> it matches it's just my a funny personality. Word? It's a yeah. funny word, I'm like, and it's totally my personality. It's basically the type that just, Wants everybody to have a good time, just like shows up Such to the party. Such a Hufflepuff. Yeah. It, could, it sounds like kind of a diss though, too. I don't care. Like stop yeah, it being, does, stop being a, such a Hufflepuff. Stop being a Hufflepuff. <laughs> such a Hufflepuff. <laughs> God. Paul, he's kind of a Hufflepuff. He's kind of a Hufflepuff. Like, just. I've never really taken one of those quizzes about what I would be. Hmm. I don't know anything. About I don't it. I don't have to. I, I would probably get it wrong if I tried to break it all down for you. Yeah. But Slytherin might be a little, little, little cunning. Yeah. I you don't would think have. I'm, uh, I don't think I'm. Raven, enough. Ravenclaw is really intelligent. Yeah. You, are oh. you a Ravenclaw? Yeah. Okay. You think I'm smart? Thanks. Is this the glasses? And you know, there's not even any glass there. Watch. Gus she'll thinks scratch I'm her smart. Eye. Gus bot thinks I'm smart. <laughs> That's a lot coming from the Gusbot 5000. <laughs> he is a robot. <laughs> robot sitting on a pile of money. That's oh what yeah, Gus he's Bot like, is. what do I do with this? I don't need a, <laughs> I don't need any place to sleep, or I don't need anything to eat. Oh, so what else do we have here? Maybe this can live over here. So this is like fun. It's like a little puzzle. It is. Do you, I mean, do you enjoy doing this? Do you oh, like the yeah. puzzle aspect? Is oh, kinda yeah. Yeah. Seeing how it all fits together. Yeah, creating these little elements and then breaking them apart in, in mm -hmm. interesting ways. Like, that's, yeah. that's really, that's really the game to me, you know? Oh, you know what would be so fun with this, too? Is. <clears throat> Again, just like another idea is what if the green, at least the green for Phantom, was like uh, 
a, a shiny white, or it's like a flat white, and it's on a shiny van. So oh, you yeah. only oh, read yeah. it as it catches the light. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Phantom limb. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, I think with branding, always <laughs> considering what what you're applying the stuff to is, is important for sure. And kind of letting the the context inform what you're gonna do. Yeah. Yes, gu guesses Adobe's phantom limb. That's <laughs> what <laughs> Michael. You're hilarious. Michael's hilarious. Is he the one that was <laughs> tossing out jokes earlier? Yeah, yeah, he's the one that said something about leaf. Oh. Leaf it alone or whatever. What, what was it, Michael? Remind us. Oh, I'm, did I copy it? No, I did. Oh, we won't, we won't leave you unsatisfied. We won't leave you unsatisfied, that's right. And a shout out to Heidi Morrow who did Silence of the Limbs <laughs> for the Halloween promotion. Ah, so good. <laughs> Y'all are all hired. Yeah, we will, oh, drink. <sighs> Y'all. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you are. And you haven't been fixing to do anything. You're actually just doing no, it. No, I'm doing it. I'm straight <laughs> up doing it. Roxanne, feel free to just type it in if I missed it. That'd be awesome. Roxanne, you had you had a tagline? I have some from yesterday. Um, Roxanne's from yesterday was ghosting overgrown problems. Ghosting overgrown problems, man. Works too. Yep. And Heidi's from yesterday was going, well, she said not going out on a limb for you, but I liked going out on a limb for you. Yeah, that's really good. Cause they literally are. Oh, Michael said it wasn't him, unfortunately. Either way, Michael, we think you're clever. I found, I actually found some um, super specific, oh, where'd they go? I should have saved them. There were totally some Adobe stock photos with tree trimmers earlier. Like, oh, what's really? this guy doing? Yeah. Taking care of business. Maybe he works for Phantom Limb. I want to see him standing on a branch and cutting the same branch he's on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oi. This guy's what? a model. Hey, hey, girl. I think he's faking. Hey, girl. He, he needs some branches trimmed. Maybe we could download this. If there's a better, you know how you judge. You know how you judge somebody a good arborist. How? It's probably how, how clean they keep their beard. <laughs> if they're like well He's too groomed, clean cut. Too clean cut to be an arborist. Yeah, probably right. Um, I I think I saved one earlier in my Adobe stock. We have a branch near you. No. I like it. Oh. On my downloads. That's it for the challenge submissions, by the way. Really appreciate everyone. There oh, did is. just did we just got a flood in, looks like. Wow. Seems like we did. Um yeah. This is good. I found this one earlier. Oh, where'd it go? I saw it. Boom. Yeah. Oh yeah. This guy is wearing the orange already, mm -hmm. so. He's, he's getting out of work. Probably definitely works at Phantom Limb. Mm-hmm. He's kind of even almost like wearing that orange. In the signature color. I'll let you tweak that. I'm gonna dive into oh, yeah. highlighting some of these. This Let's work. look at these. Let's do it. As you can see right over here. Thank you so much, everybody. You can check this out through the challenge tab. And we're gonna start with this one with Quest Love, Roxanne Lily, showing up today. Yeah. Being witty, contributing, even Roxanne on a visual Roxanne has level. been very present. Yeah. Good job, Roxanne. I love, anytime you do this, what is this, whatever, this tint. This would 100% this would work for any design job. Like yeah. this, this is totally, you'd nail it. If Salesforce is rolling yeah. through town, anyone, this, this is gonna get by every committee, every every design committee. <laughs> it's a good use of black and white photography too. Like just kind of putting it, overlaying a, a solid cover, color over it yeah. is a really efficient way to to use color. 
That's awesome. The only thing I'd say is like, if you could get away with it, do you flip his head so he's looking the other mm. way at the type? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Just a thought. Maybe he's looking forward. Oh, did I skip? To oh, the so event. sorry. That was a previous one. Ah. I clicked down too low. I'm sorry, Gus Bot. Oh, oh wow. This is great. That's really good. Ooh, little die cut. Boop boop. Yeah. That looks great. Sold. Yeah. I don't. I love the gradient on the max type. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What is the photo? Is that a photo in the background? Yeah, it looks like. It an looks eye. like a, is that an eyelash? Uh, I, for, I recognize the guy's work, actually, if it is what I think it is. But yeah, it looks like an eyelash. Very cool. Yeah, I think great that's great. Very clean work. Oops. Sorry. Where are we? Where are we? There we are. James Fowler. Fowler. Got the QR code Beep. up on there. Easy, efficient. I like how that's kind of cutting through. Mm -hmm. I like the cool. green and blue. Yeah, it's fun to see green. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of green so far yeah. on these. Congratulations, uh, Bharat Mohan. Next up, we have Joe Harrison. Cool. Going digital. Oh yeah, smart. Very smart. I love it. I think most people these days probably do that anyway. So, mm -hmm. going I paperless. Is that what font are you using? It looks like some kind of mono mm -hmm. font. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty pretty compact, easy to read. Mm -hmm. It doesn't dominate the design because this, this is pretty thin. So yeah. Good. You're right. Good font choice. Very very cool. <sighs> Julian Duf Dufour. <laughs> That's cool too. I like the yellow. <laughs> That's. Come join us. They have a little poll. I know. That's what I have to do. Post it. The night before. <laughs> Hand right. Is that orange juice on the coaster? What's on the coaster? Yeah. It looks, looks like, like orange, orange juice. juice. Getting ready for. Mm -hmm. A day full of creativity. Yeah, looks like you're already got your juice, got your mouse. Get the juices you to flowing. Totally creative. It's, it's creative, creative juice, juice. Of course. It's not orange juice. It's creative juice. Have their mouse, juice. but totally forgot their laptop. But they got their mouse. Just kidding. I love the. I like the orange. It's like super refreshing. Yeah. All right. Oh, sorry. I did not see who did this. Danny Vachon. Vachon. Cool. I like the cityscape. Yeah. Is that is that LA? This is. It. I don't know what LA looks like. No, I don't think anybody does. I, I I've done cityscapes of LA. It's hardly recognizable yeah. as far as I can tell. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I like how this is a good way you're making it look epic, which I like. I like that whole idea. It does look epic for sure. Yeah. Good call. Simulating. Juwan Kim. Another QR code. Efficient. Yeah, good, good, good layout. Everything's pretty straightforward, easy to read. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. That is super simple. Oh, yeah. is, are those lights in the background? Uh, yeah. Right up there. Cool. So, yeah, pretty simple. I mean, I, yeah. Might be missing some information, but hey. Yeah, I think it might need lot. some info. Ooh, this Whoa. is fun. I'm sorry I missed. Let me just click over and see. This is Siobhan's. Wow. That is trippy. Yeah, I love so, this. Uh, so much depth. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. Good job. Not not crazy about the gradient on the type down here. It, it becomes a little uh, illegible fading into that that yeah. black, but like maybe on is... on a lighter color, or if the gradient was like the red that you're using, that could that could be cool. Uh huh. <clears throat> Very good stuff, Siobhan. Excellent. Moving on along to Anels. Cool, clean. Yeah, very clean. Nice black yeah. and white classic. Mm -hmm. Do you, would you center this? Would you justify this under the logo or not? I'm, I don't know. Um, either that or 
maybe putting it like in the other corner. Um, but it does feel, it's, it's feeling very left justified and left heavy. So okay. yeah, maybe balancing it a little bit more could be good, but. Yeah. I like that, uh, yeah, Anel's not afraid to use just like white space, if you will. Yeah. It's yeah. tricky. It's hard to hard to pull off a lot of negative space. So mm -hmm. this is kind of crazy. Yeah, it is. I'm a sucker for red and blue. Like whenever red and blue is used, I I really like that color combination. Maybe it's maybe it's because I'm from America. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's America. Just like... This is Mer American design. Very cool, <laughs> Evan. Creativity conference, kind of stuff to read, but still super cool. And we Whoa, appreciate you. Oh, that pattern is nuts. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this comes from, I'm sure, some of the marketing materials. Like, at least the pattern does. I've never, I don't know if I've seen this logo before. I love how the background's black and white. Yeah. Oh, it lets, like, it really lets the colors kind of pop forward, yeah. which is, which is cool. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love breaking the border. Anytime you do this, so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? lots of visual interest there. It, it looks like that info is just like kind of stacked into the, the pattern. Like mm. it gives this depth effect that's cool. Yeah, totally. This is just all of it. Well, well played. Well played. Uh, Karsten Bittner. Oh, yeah. We'll we'll one up that iPhone. Oh we'll, wow! We'll do an Apple oh, Watch. Oh, we saw uh, we saw an invite from him uh, yesterday too. Oh okay. Yeah, I remember that hand drawn type. Oh, it's really cool because I like I really like the contra contrast of that with how clean the the logo is. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like how he has access to all areas. Oh yeah. Evan Berman. This is fun Ooh. pattern. Yeah, that's a really cool pattern. I like that. I like that a lot. It almost uh, becomes like an optical illusion. Yeah. yeah. I like that pattern. And I really like that blue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I'm all sad because that's oh, it. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Give him a quick shout out. I'm just going to click through these. Evan, Karsten, Bittner, fantastic job. Good job, y'all. Julie. Julie, Anna, I'm Way drinking. to go. Did you say y'all? Did I say y'all? Who said y'all? You said it like three times now. Gosh, You're killing me. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom so yeah, bad. Yeah, I'm going to have to pee by the end of this. <laughs> Siobhan Frazier, great job. Oleg, super simple. Good color balance here. A little bit of depth. Yeah. Max coming to LA. Just like that logo descending on the city want the extra mile for placement yeah Joe's. love the love that one like this one mm -hmm. okay. love that cool because we do want to get your opinion too yeah. before you go like we could do it off off camera get yeah your two cents for sure congratulations everybody did good so job well. good job so well way Always. to go thanks for for doing that so I'm still searching for some stock photos because I think that I'm really, I'm liking the way the van's looking, but who, who's behind the van, you know? Like we need to, maybe we need to see someone that, that works there. Mm -hmm. And these guys are like all, already wearing those orange shirts. Yeah, that guy has his back to you. So I'm gonna download this one and maybe, cause I know that these are gonna be high res. So I mm -hmm. think we can like crop in on him and do a little quick t-shirt mock-up before before I have to get out of here. Sad. Oh, we're gonna get all choked up. Sad. No, remember we hate each other. Oh yeah, that's right. Can't wait. For to get the out of camera, here. <laughs> we're getting choked up. Right. When there might be choking involved, but not what you think. <laughs> All Again, right, we're not even dude. in the same room, by the way. This is some clever Paco editing here. Oh, there's some like, there's some crazy effects going on on this photo. I'm not sure if it's gonna work that for- That would be really, that would be tough, the wrinkles in his shirt. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for a t-shirt mock-up, but maybe we can just find a quick t-shirt mock-up. Can mock you, could there be like a, what do you call it, like a 
Like, you need a crypt keeper. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, I might even do you one better. Can I show you something? Yeah. So you don't have to, you could buy it if you want to, but I want to point out something well, to I you. Well, I have credits. Hey, you do what you want. But okay. right up here. Whoop, boop, brrr, beep. Oh, there we go. Boop. And then just search right in here for a shirt. Let's do it. Free, free is always better than. And then scroll down, there should be some vector, or some raster, unless it went away. Yeah, there we, oh, go. there we go. Well, that's a that's a black one. Um, but then I say you like, can, I think you can change the color. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely on layers. Actually, I already have one of these. I think. Oh, okay. Do you need me, me to click away? Oh, that's. <laughs> this is really what the shot is like. What? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. yeah. Th this is this is yeah, accurate. Yeah, I feel much better because even though we were only digitally <laughs> put together, it still made me uncomfortable. Oh man. Yeah. And now we're back. We're back. I was getting lonely over there in that corner. Yeah, this is the one. This is the guy. These are great, super easy. You can just double click here and it's a smart object. And then we'll let's do let's do the bright green and we'll just keep everything. I like the idea, like if they did have a, a hoodie or sweatshirt that like one arm was like a different color. Yeah, that would be good. Or like. I'm probably taking the whole idea too far. A long sleeve shirt like that would be really cool. Or like one of the arms is just like sewn up and then you put, you keep it in your shirt. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work with one arm the whole day. No, you keep with branding. It takes you them, use that one arm. It takes them a little bit longer, but they're on brand. Ah, <laughs> uh, you killed me. It's funny. <laughs> Don't you? Everybody has to work with one arm. Let's throw this in here. Scale it down a little bit. Oh yeah. And then you just hit save. Oh, what? Uh oh, I might have to do it the old, old school way. Let's just do it this way. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you also have Twitter? I do. Uh, is it the same? Uh, so my Twitter is um, el double underscore d i c k because oh, someone are. took really the, the one underscore version. Yeah, sad, so sad. You can change the t-shirt color here. So I'm just gonna make it our dark green. That is looking really good. That's just cool. I was looking at like oh, this. Oh yeah, uh, this needs uh, to get darkened a little bit. I think you can mess with the shadows. <laughs> kind of winding down. We have about five minutes no. just to keep time. Oh. But is it really five minutes? Because this is also being recorded. Yeah. So we can come back and mm -hmm. relive. But know that each time you hit play again, we reenact the whole thing again. Right. The, yeah. I'll, stay I'll be back here. To the mm -hmm. Adobe Live brand. You mm -hmm. hit play. We have to go through the whole thing. That's right. That's right. I'm just gonna flatten this real quick and pull everything together because. It's cool to see things all in one place sometimes. They like the likes the dark green. Yeah. Val does. Always looking for. Thanks, Val. Oh, loves the black too. 
I I knew I figured Val likes the black. You know what? I'm gonna. I know. I feel like when Val reads this, she sees Phantom Menace. But Phantom I don't, Menace. She's a big Star Wars fan. Oh uh, yeah. But uh, I don't know if she likes the 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 you know episodes one, two, and three or not. So let's just do like a creepy. background. <laughs> Heidi Morrow says day three is like the phantom session too. <laughs> We're just really pushing this. Pushing the content yeah. hard. It's good. <laughs> the whole concept, even to say, stay true to it. Oh, right. we'll be here. Like the live stream. Maybe. You know what we should have done is I should have gotten that green Thing over there. What green thing? The green sheet. There's a green screen sheet over there. Oh, yeah. For Phantom Limb. <laughs> and yes, I agree. Christopher Moreno, I think maybe in certain people's heads, they have the Shin's, so Shin's song in their head. Oh, man. I didn't even think about that. That's a great yeah, song. It's a great Love song. Love them. We're gonna Love play that them. when we, you know, we, we kind of. For the outro? For the outro, we're actually still on camera. We're gonna rock out to Phantom Limb. Compliments of the shins. Christopher, thank you so much. Good suggestion. Oh yeah, and hopefully you'll post it on Instagram. Yeah. You have to, because this yeah. is looking so good and I think everybody here, I know I do, like wants to appreciate it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. We created a little Hello. Are you pretty you pretty proud of it? You pretty Yeah, happy? I'm feeling really good about it. So we created like a poster for them. Oh. A shirt. I would wear that shirt. Just though, not not in the studio today cuz you'd get keyed out. Right. Yeah, cuz <laughs> oh well, you can you can't tell but pretty much the screen behind you, us is this exact color. You can come in with that on your arm. Oh my god. Whoa, let's disappear. <gasps> We're about to We're disappear, y'all. Oh my god, this is so cool. See you later. Just stay here. <laughs> I just want to do my head. Oh. Just do your head so it's floating. Oh, sorry. Oh, ruin the oh, illusion. No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, we're going to we're gonna continue to work, or are we? Um, but yeah, so basically. I'm just what would you call a this? head and an arm. Oh, oh, phantom limbs. Anyways, I still have to work a little bit here. There's part of my arm. But yes, did we say y'all? We're slowly disappearing as we kind of wind down. We actually have like two minutes. We have like a minute here. There we are. Do you guys have any questions before I go about any of this stuff? Any of what you saw today? Wait, hold on, move, move the, uh, oh shoot, I can't. Oh, I wanted God. you to make it look like I'm in the van. Oh. Uh, oh my sorry. gosh, we're about to be in the van. Wait, can we get closer? Even though we hate each other? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're about to drive off soon. Uh, we're in the van. We got we have work to do, and we're yeah. only allowed to do it with one arm. We're about to trim some that's, trees, everyone. That's what the boss says. Is that oh. pretty good? Yeah. All right, everybody. Floating heads. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> well, thanks so much. I, yeah. it's, you're still going to tighten this up a little bit. I see you still kind of clicking around. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing this on Instagram and all the social medias yeah. and everything. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna hit throw this up on on the Instagram probably mm -hmm. later today. I'm feeling super good about it, and yeah. this was so much fun. Yay! Thank you guys so much yeah. for for having me. Yes, um, well, we're super happy to have you, everyone. The one and only Lauren <laughs> Dickens. Yes, all of her is here. I'm just a she's floating head slowly now. Slowly disappearing. <laughs> we don't want any of her to go, but she does have. <laughs> Uh, awesome adventures to go on. So follow her on Instagram, and uh, you'll see that shortly. And so long. E L underscore D I C K. Bye. Thanks so much, everybody. See ya.